when you buy this specific br uh, brand cape for the foot they always ship it together with the foot applicator the foot applicator even in a car uh, details on how to use the foot applicator um, are available on their website however you can apply the same process when you use cape hand lotion for your hands and the process is very simple this is a clinical antiperspirant you cannot approach it from you, you know your regular lotions even if you look at the size and I have, i've been having issues not issues per se but differences with the sweat family specific clients who complain about the size of the product and the amount and why is it that it cannot be as you know in terms of quantity and size why is it that it cannot be the same size as this x lotion that we use regular lotions and clinical lotions they provide or rather they serve very different purposes very different purpose very different function normal acclimated persons they are designed for such purposes but for a clinical lotion is very specific and this is to address a specific sweat issue that occurs in a specific part of the body so if you don't have the foot applicator then how do you use cape same way you apply on your palms you're supposed to apply a pea size a pea size means it's a small portion on your hand think of it as the size of a bean hmm? the size of a bean that pea size ama njugu wacha nitumie example ya njugu unaona vile njugu inatoshana your size that is the size you're supposed to apply on your palm and then you're supposed to rub gently just rub gently for about 3 to 5 seconds until it completely absorbs and you'll even feel your palms are getting dry you're not supposed to apply when you're already sweating because now you're going to inhibit the effectiveness and more so the application process if you're sweating and you're applying any antiperspirant clinical antiperspirant in this case and you're already sweating then it will not absorb the way it's supposed to why because the sweat is inhibiting the process so the foot lotion apply the same a pea size amount to your palms and then you apply gently on your feet or you can have the pea size amount directly on your feet so i'll use my palm as an example think of this as your foot and you apply a pea size amount to any section mostly i think it will be around the the toes sections section sorry that pea size amount and then you start rubbing gently into the areas that you want uh to manage the sweat depending also on the size of the feet you may end up applying like two sections and then you rub gently and massage gently until they completely it completely absorbs so use the foot applicator where necessary and once you've applied the lotion do not mix it with anything else antiperspirants are supposed to be applied at night as well because at night you're less active you're going to bed you're going to sleep this is not just specifically the mode of application is not just specifically for underarm sweating however even when it comes to your uh, managing the sweat in your hands and feet you're supposed to apply the antiperspirant at night before bedtime so first and foremost clean your hands clean your feet make sure they are dry dry them off completely uh, by using your your towel air dry your feet first and once your feet are completely dry then apply cape foot lotion 
then go to sleep. Go to bed. When you wake up in the morning, even before I discuss about the morning routine, what you have done by applying at night, at night you're less active. So the antiperspirants ducks the, those extra pores that cause you to sweat. And now in the morning, the effectiveness has been there throughout the night. So in the morning when you wake up, once you shower, you can reapply again. And when you follow this procedure, you will start experiencing a change in your sweat patterns. You will even notice the difference. The biggest challenge is you have clients who buy, whether it's carpet foot lotion or the carpet hand lotion, sweat block, name the brand, but they are not consistent. You have to be consistent. In their website, they clearly indicate for best and maximum results, you're supposed to apply three to four days, three to four times in a day, not three to four days, sorry for that. Three to four times a day. If you apply at night, you may extend your effect, effectiveness because it may work vizuri when you're less active. In the morning, chances of you applying it three to four days at three, I don't know why I keep going to three to four days, but I'm confusing with uh, the uh, PM and AM. Sorry, back to digress. If you apply at night, during the day, it may not be necessary for you to apply three to four days, three to four times. Yeah, I am again with three to four days, Jesus. Three to four times. <laughs> Because at night you have extended the effectiveness or rather it has worked at night when you're less active. So in the morning, the maximum you may end up applying probably is like three times. We are looking at individuals who are maybe wearing open shoes. I think that's why they may be able to even apply more as compared to individuals who are wearing closed shoes. However, at the end of the day, the application process also depends with the body chemistry. The individuals who may experience that uh, a change in the sweat patterns faster than others. I have over the years clients who applied a topical application and it worked for them instantly. They started seeing the change. Others, it took a bit of time before they could experience the change. However, the results are completely determined by your body chemistry. Your body chemistry is the one that determines the effectiveness. This is why it's very hard for HEK, Hyperhidrosis Awareness Kenya, or even individuals who contact me directly to ask me which brand or which product would you recommend, which one is very effective. You know, it's brand A effective more than brand B. I want uh, a brand that has the highest active ingredient percentage and the one that will work effectively for me. And that is very hard to uh, to pinpoint and address or even advice. Why? Because you have to experience the brand to know which one works best for you. You've been given options. So it's up to you to decide, okay, let me start with brand A. If brand A doesn't work, I'll go to brand B. If brand B doesn't work, there is C and others. And then I have to now cascade with levels. Level one treatment, which is topical treatments, and you also have antiphoresis machine treatment still in level one treatment. So if one brand doesn't work, you try the next one. And if you feel like topical applications are not really working for you, then you have to cascade to antiphoresis machine treatment, which I'm going to talk about it in the next video. So you have your cup of foot lotion. This has been a sigh of relief for quite a number of people living with uh, hyperhidrosis, specifically plantar hyperhidrosis. And I've, you know, over the years I've also um, 
been blessed to uh with clients who share their experiences and their clients who have also bought the same lotion for the foot and they have used it on their palms and it worked and also vice versa i have clients who have bought cup hand lotion and they used it on their feet and it worked so this is where now um body chemistry really comes in handy to get cup foot lotion get in contact with uh, hyperhidrosis awareness kenya and we will sort you out also if you want to support hyperhidrosis awareness kenya because we really need your support we've been raising awareness since 2018 till date there are numerous programs that we have and things which we want to do for the hyperhidrosis family however we are limited in terms of resources to support hyperhidrosis awareness kenya you can support us via the pay bill number below or you can reach out to us send us a direct message whether it's on instagram or messenger on our facebook page or send us an email through our website and we will connect with you and you know have a meeting and discuss to see how you can be beneficial to hyperhidrosis awareness kenya if you have any questions also please feel free to leave it in the comment section and we will do our best to answer accordingly and professionally to be able to help you out also if you want or if you wish to consult a certified dermatologist for level 2 treatments get in contact and in touch with us and we will sort you out sort without shame and see you in the next video